Good morning. We're so happy you're here. For daily vlogs, so if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. I didn't even realize I have like a very <laughs> loungy shirt on <laughs> that I never thought about going outside in public in. Um, it's Sarah's dad's that turned into Sarah's mom's that turned into mine. Um, it's the big cheese shirt. See, there's a hole in it even. Anyway, it's okay because we're going to a beach. Yes. We're going to a beach that Sarah found on TikTok. Um, it's actually only a few miles away from where we live. So we're hopping in the car. We're going to go to the beach, even though it's a little overcast. It stormed all night. And then uh, we're going to come back and do nap time before we have a little adventure this afternoon evening. We are on this beautiful street, Albion. It's like Winthrop is the other north-south street that's just there. This is Albion. There's a park and then a small beach right here. We're in Rogers Park. Peter and I were just saying, we love Rogers Park. I feel like we always, like driving through, we love it. We always come up here for like, they just have certain things. Also, that food that we got yesterday from the Honey Bear Cafe, that's in Rogers Park. Hand pick a free house. Hand pick a free house? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice houses. This is a really beautiful street. And it looks a little cloudy. Honestly, I'm hoping that the weather played in our favor and that it'll be nice and cool this morning and not a lot of people will be here. The sand will be nice and cool. You got your new bluey cup. <laughs> Jamesy basically jumped out of my arms to get in the sand. It's like one big sandbox. The sand is a bit more rocky than we're used to, but it's nice. Like it's not sharp. They're mostly like, hey, oh, look at that big rock. Oh my word. Oh, it's quite choppy. Definitely got rain over there, but that's heading out. Man, is it choppy. Also, the water's cold, but it's not as freezing as I thought it would be. There's another beach over there. Like we said, Sarah found this on a TikTok, and it's a really nice secluded beach. For a Saturday, there's only like two other families here. It is very rocky, but they're like smooth rocks. Um, there's a playground right here, and some big trees. So I can imagine on a sunny day, it being really nice, that if you're at the beach, one of the downsides is like when it gets brutally hot. Well, you've got a playground the kids can go play in. You've got lots of big trees providing shade. And because Loyola University, the main campus is like just south of here, and then we're not too far northwestern, north of here, that there's actually a big beach. Those, those people I showed you, maybe a few hundred yards down this, there's like a development right here between this beach and an actual like really long, big established beach. So I'm sure that a lot of people go to that beach rather than this, which is a cause for seclusion. It's nice. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not sure if he wants to wake up or not. He might just snooze a little longer before we dip his toes. <laughs> Kid. When there's snacks about, Sarah cannot resist, so we had to pull them out. <laughs> we have some watermelon, we got some donuts, some chips. We have hummus, 
hummus and guacamole. Is it too big for you? So Peter and I are taking turns running around with James, going in the water. There's also a really nice playground here and it is totally in the shade. Even like right now it's like the sun is at its peak. All of the playground is totally shaded because there's really big trees over there. The one thing that we're having an issue with is that there's flies that keep biting us. So like it's better like when we're just like sitting here. The reason the reason we're switching off is because Teddy is asleep. Um, so when we're just sitting here with Teddy, we're kind of getting bit. So I have the towel around my legs. Um, and we'll see, I might just have to put my cover up back on. Um, that's our only, only qualm so far. This is a great, a great little beach. There's a ton of them along Lake Michigan. Um, but this one really is, really is a gem. All right, we're home. We're not taking a bath <laughs> to get all the sunblock on. I love the idea of a <laughs> This kid's crazy. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> How was your trip to the beach? You slept the whole time. Hi. You are very thinking cute. James is all fresh and clean from the beach. We may have a problem. We decided for me to take James on my run so he'd fall asleep. He has not fallen asleep. He's fighting it, he's sitting up, wanting to take in the beautiful sights. I can't hold that against him, but he was supposed to be asleep like a quarter mile ago. Jamesy. So that's what we're doing. Look at this beautiful lake front. Put people out picnicking, playing. The boat's off in the distance. Love it. Beautiful day out. I think it's 82. Couldn't ask for better. Look at that. James finally fell asleep. About to turn around, but I couldn't turn away from this view without showing it to you guys. We got the lakefront lounge open for some drinks. Beautiful skyline. We're actually going to end our evening over there at Navy Pier. Check out a new restaurant. Whew. It's one of those like good runs, but like hurt so good kind of runs. Going for four today. Longest this week. He is out. So we'll at least get another 20, 25 minutes of him being asleep. Feel good. Feel real good. Oh, I love one like when you do a run that's one way than the other way is when the return home has better conditions. Now I'm not facing the sun. James is more in the shade. I might even be able to take off my sunglasses. Just, I think I'm with wind, so it might feel hotter. Cause when I was running against wind, you're feeling the breeze against your face. But time to finish this run. Every day closer and closer to Dopey and half, or I should say half Chicago, full Chicago and Dopey Disney. So. We're inching back into the running lifestyle, and I'm very couldn't be happier. We are done with our four miles, and he slept for a little over half of it. Now I'm dripping sweat, so I don't. This is the outfit we're gonna try to keep him in for dinner tonight. So it's not really smart for me to try to pick him up and get him covered in sweat. So Sarah's gonna come out and grab him and try to drop him in the crib. Alrighty, we are back, out and about. The kids got really good naps, bath time. Um, we're gonna get some dinner at Navy Pier. So we are going to Chef Art Smith's new restaurant, Reunion. I think we might have showed it in a different vlog that he like considers his homecoming's little sibling. And yeah, we have a reservation at 5.30 and we are going to actually do something we've never done before and parked, park at a, like in a lot that is in the neighborhood but they have like a deal with Navy Pier to like validate parking in for it to be like significantly cheaper. So I will link that in the description of this if you're ever in Chicago and you go to Navy Pier, it's a big attraction that people usually go to. I'll also like screenshot the, um, the different lots that do this in the neighborhood. Um, so I thought that was really cool. We 
take a little bit of a out of the way walk to make it here, but we got to walk past the new Edebevic, so read the legend of Edebevic slowly if you want. We have, to, we have to come here because this is new, but it's a new location. We used to go to the old one. Yeah. So that was a little obnoxious even for city standards. Um, so the, the parking garage we parked in, it's a few blocks away from Navy Pier, but a really good deal, like Sarah was saying, um, and gives us more of a scenic route. So, hi. Are you excited? <laughs> we haven't been downtown in so long. And we already have at least our appetizer picked out because we think it's, I think a lot, um, because Chef Art Smith re recognizes this as like the little sibling to Homecoming, that at least this opening week menu, because he did say he's going to change it yeah, very shortly. Right, it's going to be like, see what people think of it and mold it and such. Yeah. This time so I do think there's a lot of Homecoming staples on this menu, just to like start off strong with some classics. So we want the fried green. We're gonna get a better shot closer, but we're we're at Navy Pier and I see Reunion by Chef Art Smith. All right, so the outdoor patio is looking. It looks it, the theming also looks a lot like yeah. um, homecoming. And we are going to go. We said it over the a week ago. I think that like I'm hopeful that in the winter they'll be able to like close these and make it maybe into the morning. Maybe um, we are also going to Chef Smith. Chef, Chef Art Smith other restaurant that's in downtown Chicago that's been there for a while tomorrow for brunch. Oh, Art so Smith weekend. now we can say we've knocked off Chef Art Smith's reunion, Blue Door Kitchen, and Homecoming after tomorrow. Check that out. Chef Art Smith's reunion. Comfort food is calling your name. Fried chicken take no sides. Ready for the food, ready for the food. Boom, 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 boom. This is also luckily James is messing around with it because I didn't realize this is the kids' menu. All right, here is the fried green tomatoes, just like in Orlando, right? They look just like it. So, and Sarah got a Pepsi, James got a water, <laughs> and I got a Maui Wowie. Oh, dip, dip, dip. I got the shrimp and grits. I love the bowl. I've got this cutie pie with me if you were wondering where he was. So James he eats everything, but he eats things in sections. He has to have his french fries first. He won't eat anything apparently until he eats all those french fries. I got the Chef Art Smith's famous chicken. Got the chicken, the hush puppy, hot sauce. It's a hush Oh, I think it's a hush that's a biscuit or some sort. <laughs> and then uh, mashed potatoes. Alrighty, our bellies are so full. We're heading out. Just wanted to show you the little store they have here too. Some shirts. Back to the table, the reunion of food and family. Look at my beautiful kids and my beautiful wife. The this skyline. Is one of my favorite views, even though it's only like a few buildings like you're able to see. <laughs> And we're like in it, so like, like Roosevelt University and the Lipstick Building to us are like pieces of the skyline, but we're so in it right here that those are like off. That's like not its thing, but ooh, the Sea Dog is parking. It's fancy. There are fireworks here tonight. Alas, I've had a headache and I've been getting a headache like every single day this week, and I've been having a headache all day, but it's like turned physically painful while we we're eating dinner. To the point where like I didn't want to finish my food. Um, so we're actually not gonna hang out in the pier, we're gonna walk back. Also, <laughs> we parked at the wrong, the secondary, the second wrong. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna park at one parking garage. If you know Chicago, there is an upper racket drive and a lower racket. We were looking at the directions and it looked like we should be in one lane, but we should have been in the other lane to go underneath. And that's where the parking garage was. So we went up to Michigan Avenue saw another parking garage that was on the list. Well, I thought it was on the list. Well, it was, the but you had to listen to the address. The address was different. So we parked at, like, at, a, at a almost secondary name. So I, I gave a whole spiel of how cool I thought our parking was going to be, and then we parked at the wrong place. So we have no idea how much our parking is going to cost. I it's might. not that close. <laughs> oh, Jamesy, where are you? <laughs> 
<laughs> so I just chose to put on Sarah's hat. Where are you, Jamesy? I miss you. Oh, good jam. We're right off the river here. Gleacher Center. And Teddy Boy is locked out. Look at that cotton candy sky. There's my favorite building. There's Sarah's favorite building. My favorite building's better. Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys been making fun of me for calling it cotton candy sky. For however many days that's been. Every day is like a, that cotton candy sky. It's a funny sky. joke. And your building only looks better because it's closer. Mine no. is more. Whatever helps you sleep at night, honey. Whatever helps you sleep at night. <laughs> I hear. I hear that you can have an event in the crown of the Tribune Tower. Did you know it was called the Crown? Because it's a better building. I try so hard with all <laughs> those like pieces on the bottom. If you go like, if you walk next to the Tribune Tower, there's like pieces like the pyramids. It's, like, it's called the history. It's called trying too hard. <laughs> it's superficial. After you. So we are home. Peter is putting James down and I am gonna see if Teddy will sleep. He was asleep and he woke up and he's kind of wide awake now. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but it might be just an early night for us. Peter with his headache, like I truly think like he for sure should just go to bed. Maybe I'll stay up and edit. Whoa, look at that ice cream cone. Okay, it's definitely the next morning. Look at this little Buzz Lightyear kid um we forgot to sign off last night we did just go to bed you're gonna sign off with me um but one of the cool things that we forgot to mention in the vlog which i've i've just finished editing is that we did get to meet art smith at at reunion yesterday he stopped by our table and then also just like during our meal he filled up our waters and a different time teddy's Binky fell on the ground and he happened to be walking by and he picked it up for us, right? That was a nice guy. Um, so that was really cool. Um, we really enjoyed our meal there and we will be back and we're gonna go to his other restaurant in Chicago today for brunch. So you'll see that in the vlog tomorrow. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>